Hello, my friends. I just got a pet portrait commission from a uh, viewer, Judy. Hello, Judy, and thank you. So I want to do a lovely background for it. So once again, I have turned to the Prism Pour Ultra Metallics. I have found that if I mix them very thin and just do a flip cup and tilt, I get a beautiful muted background. By muted, I mean there's not a lot of distraction going on, but it's just gorgeous. And um, when I varnish it, my shimmer comes through and I'm very, very happy with this, this mix. So my colors today, Judy said she likes blues, greens, purples, gold. So I'm using all of them in there. <laughs> I'm using African violet, um, water dragon. Let me show you this color. Let me find a stick and show you how beautiful this is. Look at that. I hope you can see. This is just an astounding color. Uh, Mayan gold. Beautiful. Beautiful. And Chantilly lace. No, French silk, excuse me. And then I had peacock, which is a beautiful color, but I felt it was too strong. Green can really take over, I've found, in any brand, any, any amount. <laughs> it goes a long way, so... I mixed a little of it with the French silk, and it's still very green. I should have added um, it to French silk, but I didn't. So, in fact, maybe I will. Maybe I will do that. Instead of the French silk, I will add some of that. Let's see what I get. See, a little bit goes a very long way. It's still lovely. And I think that will look nice with the um, water dragon and the African violet and the gold. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty. And I might even add a touch of the... Um, oh, there's so many... Gorgeous colors, but they're so uniquely named. Peacock. I might add a little bit of that, too, just for fun. I stirred my purple with gold. There's a little gold in there, but uh, it's all going to mix together. But those three right there are very pretty, aren't they? Hmm. Okay. So here we go. I will put the mix down below, but it was just two parts Floetrol, one part paint, one part water to get a very thin mix. And what order? I think this is fine. Maybe I'll put the gold between the two blues. Maybe I'll add, now that I've changed that color up, I'll, I'll do this. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna start with a, a little bit of the peacock. And then some gold. This mix. Water Dragon. African Violet. I'm going to put this aside now. I don't want to add any more of that than that much. trash pickup day. I threw out some paintings that uh, <laughs> while my husband's away at golf, he doesn't like me to throw anything away, but sometimes I just have to. I've experimented and they were just flops and I can't pour over them. I mean, I already have, so. Okay, 
that's it. Now, just for fun, I never do this, but um, I'm going to dip a stick in there and give it a, a mix like that. But that's it. It doesn't really matter because they're going to be all mixed up with the flip cup. But here we go. I always try to remember to tape the backs of my canvases to keep them nice and neat. And I bought these wonderful mid-size push pins. Not the tiny ones or not the giant ones. They're just right. <laughs> okay, here we go. And I'm just going to release it in kind of a figure eight motion. Oh, so pretty. Okay. A lot of bubbles. I'm going to torch. And tilt. There's going to be two dogs on here. A Maltese and a Sharpay. So I almost don't mind if there's this little line of delineation that might um, give each, each pup their own space. I'm going to have to run that gold off. It's too bright. See the lovely shimmer. Oh wow. <laughs> you see so many things in these in these pores. I'm almost seeing a landscape here. Let me turn it towards you. I'm not going to use it as a landscape, but... Uh... Now there's a little... This is very... The bottom half is very pretty, and so is the top, but there's just this one weird area, but that will get covered up by one of the pups. So... I'm going to move it over, though. Where I will be painting one of them. So I'll cover it up. There. So probably like the previous one, if you saw, I had one here and one there. I think that's it, my friends. Let me bring you in for a closer look at this deliciousness. That shimmer. Lovely. Yeah, that funny little area it will be covered up by one of the dogs. But the rest of it, I think, is quite lovely. Okay.
Okay. Well, thanks for joining me, my friends, and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Well, my friends, I couldn't leave it like that. I tilted off that weird little area up here and, I don't know, tilted all around till I I was satisfied now with the, with the background. I think it's very subtle and um, very pretty. And I also wanted to explain this weird reflection that you see up here. When we revamped my painting room here, we put in recessed lighting. And while it really helps the um, brightness in my room, there was a big white light reflected because uh, it's right behind my work area there. And couldn't live with that, so we ended up um, putting a piece of heavy paper over it. And that's a bit of blue tape that's holding it up. It's kind of like a reflector. I don't want to cover up the light. So anyway, you'll see that now and then in my paintings, but it's better than the big light. I tried moving the table all different locations in the room, and we have four of these lights and everywhere. I moved the table. I had that problem, so this was the best we could come up with. Anyway, um, perhaps I will tack on the portraits at the end of this video so you can see the whole thing from beginning to end. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Well, here we go, my friends, the finished portrait. This is Cricket and Bonnie. Bonnie was an unusual Sharpe in that her ears didn't fold down like most of them do. And she had very distinctive wrinkles in her forehead, but I um, hope I captured them from the reference photos I was given. And I united the two dogs with a swath of gold prism pour paint um, applied with a brush. And let me just show you the lovely shimmer on here. I think you, there you go. Oh, you can really see it there at this angle. So it makes a beautiful background for something like this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's, and yet it's subtle. Um, it's not very, it's not busy applied in this fashion, but it's interesting and beautiful. I think somewhat magical. So, there you have it. Thank you for joining me, my friends, and I look forward to seeing you next time.